Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, be able to download my Maya Star onto your computer. Um, in that some of some of people have been telling me that their browsers have been reporting that um, a, 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 a virus warning or a malicious um, malware warning uh, when trying to download Maya Star. And I'm going to show you where the settings are in uh, Chrome, but also in Firefox, uh, what you have to do just temporarily so you can download the files. The files do not contain any viruses. The files do not contain any malware. It's simply that um, any EXE file, um, uh, Chrome and Firefox does not down like downloading it um, unless it's from like a certified site um, and so that's why they, they put up those blockers. And normally it's a very good idea uh, not to allow uh, that type of stuff to be downloaded on your computer. So you definitely want to switch the settings back to the way, the way they were after you've downloaded MyoStar um, so that you don't accidentally download something that, that could have um, something harmful in it. Uh, it's Firefox and, and Chrome are not actually detecting any um, virus or any malware. They're simply saying, oh, this is an EXE file. Uh, this could be dangerous because it's not from uh, a certified uh, website that you're downloading it from. Um, or, and the same thing goes for the zip file. If you're a Mac user and you're trying to download the zip file version, um, it does the same thing. Um, and so, um, anyway, so I'm going to show you first in Chrome. So in Chrome, uh, all you have to do is come over here uh, to these three little horizontal bars and click on it and come down to Settings. And then once you're in the Settings, just scroll down to where you see Show Advanced Settings. Click on Show Advanced Settings and then scroll down and right under Privacy, you see this Enable Phishing and, and Malware Protection. Just turn it off. That's all you have to do, and then you could go back to wherever, uh, you know, to the page um, that you were downloading Maya Star from, and continue downloading. Put in the the password and and click download. It will download, and then once it's downloaded, all you have to do is come back to the settings tab here and turn it back on, and that's it. You don't have to hit save or anything. Um, just turn it back on by putting a check mark ne next next to it, close it, and you're back to the way the way it was before. Now I'm going to go over to Firefox, and in Firefox it's a little different in that you come up here to Tools, and then you come down to Options, and then you come over here to Security, and all you have to do is turn this one off. It was by default it's checked block reported uh, attack sites. All you have to do is unblock it, um, and you'll be able to download it. And as soon, and then you click OK, and then as soon as you download it, you just come back over here, uh, open it up again, turn it back on, click OK, and you're good to go. I will show you another slightly different version of of Firefox that I found uh, by googling it. Um, it's pretty much the same. Going to your security. Um, and you're just turning off this one. You can see it's slightly different. This may be a couple years old. Um, and so if you're using an older version of Firefox, uh, you come in here and you turn it off. Um, and so you just click there and you turn it off. And it should be, there might be slight variations, but it's always going to be underneath um, the security. I tried clicking on exceptions and adding the website that I was downloading from to the exceptions and I think you have to have the exact uh, web address um, that you're downloading from to make the to make the exception. So it's just easier to come in here and simply turn it off and then click OK, download it, go back to your tools, go to security, turn it back on and then click OK. And that's really all there is to it. Um, like I say, I promise you there's no viruses, there's no malware in them. Uh, they're not detecting any viruses and mal or malware in the files. Uh, it's just because it's an EXE file or a zip file and um, 
that they're trying to warn you um, to keep you safe. So under normal circumstances, it's very good that Firefox in Chrome does this. Um, but, you know, you know who you're downloading it from. And um, so you can turn disable those temporarily, turn them back on after you download it, and you're all done. So I guess that's it, and I'll see you in the next video.